Hello and welcome everybody to another episode of Sight Coffee Plays Chained Echoes. We are back. We are still climbing up this mountain. I'm not going to waste any time. Uh, well, I'll waste two seconds. Quick plug, like and subscribe. Maybe please thank you. It does help out the channel so very much. Subscribe if you want to see more Let's Plays and other things. And like this video if you like it. You know how it goes. Let's get into it. We have these giant awesome mechs. And we're going to fly. Fly our way up, all the way up to the very top. Over, over there. Looks like Haku needs our help. I think we're about to fight a big bird in this big boss battle. So let's let's get it. Let's see how this goes. Haku. Oh, <laughs> that's a giant fat turkey. <laughs> all right, let's go. Come on, turkey. Yo. Uh, drop. There we go. Here we go. Welcome to the Let's Play, everybody. We're getting right into things here. Start out by charging her up. And Bathras. Let's see. What what are we what are we up against here? Weak to fire. Perfect. We're going straight to gear two. And we're gonna hit him with fire shot. And then gear two for you as well. There we go. Act twice? How about no? How about no? I don't like that. I don't know what that means, but I don't like it. Did Glenn level up? Looks like they, like he did. Um, we've unlocked some new stuff. Counter mode. Counters physical single target attacks for five turns. So if he gets attacked physically, it counters it. That's cool. Find salvo. Inflicts blind. And then the poison and the piercer. For right now, we're going to go into gear two here. Should we do that one? Counters physical target. It, I mean, we should have used it before we went up. So let's start with that. We want to get that poison procced and going as soon as we can here. Okay, gear two for you. Let's do this. Boom. Another 2,000 damage. Oh, man. Oh, man. That hurts. All right. Glenn's up next. Should we blind him? I think that keeps... That keeps them from doing physical attacks, right? Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> Prepare. Mostly for Glenn's sake. Okay. You're going to actually go out of uh, that and start hitting like that. You may as well. Wow, that was a lot. That was a critical. Channel strong magic? The enemy's preparing a strong attack. Being in gear zero and defending is our best option. Okay. I mean, sounds good to me. You don't have to tell me twice. If the game is outright yelling at you to change it up to defend yourself, you usually should listen. Let's see how big this is. I mean, I guess that probably would have been a lot worse. Oh, you're using it twice. Okay. I wonder how that would have been if we were in gear two. That would have been really bad. It's like, what? A couple thousand damage, probably? All right, Bathraz. Back up to gear one. Should I even waste SP until we get to gear two? I'm not gonna. Uh, um, I may as well. We'll get it back. Glenn. I'm going to hit up that counter. That's going to help us out. Sienna. Get that charge ready. Haku's over here in the bottom. Just like, ah, with his knife. It's like, I got this. Um, it's defense thing is gone. So let's do that again. Oh, overheat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think we need to get to gear two. That puts us to the left, right? Yes, it does. Awesome. Good, because we need it. Oh, Glenn, you're down. Oh, goody. I don't think we have a way to revive him right now. Unless we use an item. Um, hmm. I don't know if we're going to have a chance to do that. I do not like this. Oh, there, there's more people down. This is not good. Heal up, please. 
We don't have a choice. Go to zero. Items. Um, Glenn? That's a revive, right? Oh, you're getting ready. Okay. We need to, we need to go to gear zero and... But you need to repair people, dude. I don't think he'll... We have to repair. It doesn't matter if they defend if they're dead. Okay, Glenn. You are in gear one, which means if we go, we're going to gear two. So, instead of that, we're going to use that. This may be the bat. This may not be a good idea. Sienna's going to defend. She has full health, and just in case, this goes really poorly. Okay, there goes Bathras. There goes... Our bard. Get up, Victor. Okay. Get up, Bathraz. Hopefully. Okay, Bathraz actually gets to act. So get out of gear zero, uh, two and defend. And there goes Victor again. There we go again. Uh, this is a losing battle. We're gonna use up all our exchange parts here. But we need him alive. And then we need to heal. Okay. Love that. Great. But we're not dead yet. So we're just gonna attack normal. Sienna, use her exchange parts on Glenn. That way Victor can actually heal us up. Oh, you're channeling. That's great. Oh, get out of it. I mean, I may, <laughs> may as well use that. Let's see. How does that do in terms of heals? Oh, very good. Okay. You, you don't have a lot of health, so you're defending. Glenn, you are hurt. But if you get a heal in, you'll be okay. And Sienna's doing all right. We need to make sure Victor stays alive. We can come back from this. We just need to not go down. 900. Victor took like 900 damage there. Sienna, you had full health. What are you doing? Okay. All right. All right, buddy. That's it. That's it. How much health do you have, bird? Did you look at that? We're probably doing this. We're probably doing this again. This is a good warm up. Good warm up. It doesn't help that we're in an overheat, does it? Cure silence. That's a cure. I'm trying to. I'm. I'm searching for something that cannot be found. We should have been doing that. Okay. Well, now that we know that we have that, we're probably gonna lose, which is okay. You know what? Let's just lose this quick. <laughs> we did it! We did it! Oh my word, I didn't expect that. Victor coming in clutch, like, has nothing left. Gives him one last hit. How could you? <laughs> that couldn't have gone better. Oh man. Rolled a nat 20 on my luck, apparently. Goodness. All right. How could you leave me behind? We thought you were hiding safely inside the ship. What good would that have done? The condor would have sucked me out like a Mirandan mar snail dish. Well, Glenn, I'd like you to meet Haku, my only crew member. That's a bit of an understatement. I'm the captain, first mate, and helmsman of this ship, all at the same time. Always glad to hear I have a talented young man such as yourself at my side. All right. Now jump on the ship before the Condor reappears. This is the Heimelskeiser, your airship? I think it's Himmelskeiser. Yep. Something wrong with her? N no. It's just I expected something more... 
Majestic with such a name? <laughs> True. This thing's more of an airboat. Airboat? I didn't mean to be disrespectful. Harm's done. Ha, let's get going. Good job, Glenn. Now Haku's pissed. Hey, you're the one that called this rust bucket an airboat. I heard that. Whoops. Welcome aboard, Glenn. Welcome aboard. Sorry, taking a sip of coffee here. Gotta have that energy to get through this. All right. Your Highness, as ordered, we have raised taxes in all regions. This led to riots in Basil and five other villages, but we were able to stop them all in time. Good work, General. Is something the matter? If you'll allow me to speak frankly. Go ahead, General. In times such as these, any opinion is welcome here. Well, there's a growing resentment among the population. Even our own citizens are on the verge of revolting. Everyone thought the war was over after the battle against Escania, but now the circumstances are even worse than before. People have to pay higher taxes, but at the same time, take in less because all the young people are being conscripted. Resistances keep appearing, and we have to make examples of them. Your Highness, for many years we have dreamed of seeing our flags raised on the walls of Farnsport and Wernshire. But now they are obscured by all the bodies we are hanging. Ooh. As your advisor, I have to ask this question, Your Majesty. Is this austerity really necessary? Our army is strong enough. After all, we possess the Grand Grimoire. Moreover, in addition, General Godfrey, General Elena, and General Kenrick now command the powers of the Grimoire. They alone are as powerful as an entire army. So that's what you think, huh? What about the rest? My prince, well, I, well... I am a bit confused, your highness, but it might be due to my age. I see. Generals... If you think we are at war against only Nabrelia, you are wrong. Escania and Gravos still hate us. Just because we are their new masters does not mean these dogs are going to eat out of our hands. We will not be able to negate their century-old hatred so easily, but we can prevent it from being manifested into violence against us. With their drained bodies, they can do nothing. Once their will is shattered, they will be begging for scraps at our tables as the dogs they are. Jeez, dude. I understand, your majesty. Furthermore, we only want to use the Grand Grimoire in an emergency. In the upcoming battle against Nabrelia, your newly obtained powers will have to suffice, generals. You don't plan to use the Grimoire? I beg you to reconsider. I've made my decision. Enough for today. I will retire to my chambers. As you wish, your majesty. Welcome back to New Wernshire, Sir Victor. This time, accompanied by a few more people. This gentleman is Lord Sander. He helps us restructure Wernshire as King Frederick wishes. Well, well. At last we meet, Sir Victor. We missed each other last time. I am a great admirer of your plays. No one else manages to breathe so much life into such imag imaginative characters. The pleasure is all mine. I have devoured your play about the great master Bardhold several times, but say, did it all really happen like that, or was it simply a work of fiction? Many people ask this of me. However, it remains a secret. Maybe I will reveal it on my deathbed. On the deathbed of an R? That could take a while. Lord Sander, Bishop Zacchaeus wishes to speak with you. Of all times, I hope we get another chance to talk. I'll take my leave. Huh? Hmm. Well then, Terran's spy is gone. 
I think I know what business you are here on, Sir Victor. My opinion hasn't changed since last time. But my offer has only expanded. Sir Victor, you want to destroy the Grand Grimoire and end Terran's reign of terror over Valandis, and I'm with you on that. King Frederick rules with a harsh hand. The people are exhausted and starving. Resistance groups are springing up like mushrooms everywhere. In the last two months, I have been visited several times by such groups. They asked for my support. My answer was always the same. It's useless. We have no chance. My army has been reduced to 50 men, and I only own three airships. I am a puppet of King Frederick. How are a dozen starving rebels supposed to change this situation? So, Sir Victor, tell me, why should I give you any different of an answer than I gave them? Because my offer is anything but starving rebels. And because I'm not asking you for men or weapons either. We need permission to fly under your flag and a place to base ourselves. That's all we want. Lady Bran, our plan is to destroy the Grand Grimoire. Surely we will need a troop to create a distraction in the palace while we advance for the stone, but we will recruit these men ourselves. And how will you do that? Even your personal wealth has its limits, and for reasons other than gold, no one will follow a rider such as you into battle. Allow me to interrupt, Lady Bran. There's even more to offer you. Wait, aren't you... Princess Celestia Val... Valkyria... 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 Of Terran. I am at your service. The princess is fighting on your side? On our side. My brother must be stopped. If you fear for your head, let the princess be your... Aegeus before King Frederick. And do you know what is better than one princess on our side? Two princesses. What do you mean? I am in contact with Princess Am Amalia. She leads a resistance group in Escania and wants to join us. Uh, are you all serious? Furthermore, I have not only an airship to use for our cause, but also four sky armors. Ho! Oh, Sir Victor, only you can manage to make me laugh in these sad times. You have actually managed to ignite a spark of hope in me. Now then, you may fly under my banner and bring me Princess Amalia. Perhaps your troop will be able to change things after all. I will not fail you, my lady. General Tormen, take Sir Victor to Hermit's Isle. It will serve as a base for him. For Princess Celestia, I will have the guest room prepared. No need, Lady Bran. I'll move in with Glenn and Sir Victor. You're putting yourself in unnecessary danger. I'd rather put myself than you in danger. If my brother finds out that I'm hiding in your castle, it may have terrible consequences for you. I see your point. Very well, then. Let the light of destiny show you the right way. Thank you. Do not disappoint me. Hermit's Isle. Was this like a base of operations? We're we gonna be here for a while. So, this is supposed to be a former pirate island, huh? Little sunlight, damp walls, and a chill draft. I don't like this place. You'll only catch a rheumatism here. It's not like we're here for a vacation. So, I've arranged everything with Tormun. The last of the paperwork is done. Paperwork? We are now registered as an official adventurer's clan. Here are our clan crests. What's a clan? Outside of Valandis, adventurers organize themselves into so-called clans. It is a tradition that is slowly establishing itself here as well. As a clan, we have permission to fly armed around Valandis, at least to a certain degree. Correct, my, correct, my dear Bathras. We are now registered as a clan called the Crimson Wings, and our leader is Glenn. What? You've got to be kidding me. Have you ever heard me joke? Well, you probably have. Don't worry about it. It's just a name on a piece of paper. 
Why did you do that, Sir Victor? I don't possess any leadership qualities, nor do I have the charisma. Ha, <laughs> indeed. But even without those, you're the best recruiter for new allies in our lines. As the best Sky Armor pilot, you're probably the most capable fighter in the whole country. And you can certainly impress some people with that. Do you really believe that? In the end, we'll make the decisions together. Let's take care of Princess Amalia first. Our contact is waiting for us in Basil. He will bring us to Her Highness. All right, let's set up camp here and leave afterwards. Sir Victor, do you have a moment? Sure. Tell me, what's the real reason? What do you mean? You wanted my help to travel to the Kindr Kindreld Monastery. You searched for me all over Valandis to fight against the Grimoire. And now you choose me as your leader? Why all of this? There's no reason, Glenn. Please tell me the truth. There is a reason. You wear two amulets around your neck. They are life anchors, aren't they? The jewel in the amulet is connected to the soul of a person and glows when you approach them. It can be used as a compass, and one of the amulets always shines in my presence. It's probably how you found me in Flandern. Why do you possess such a thing? <laughs> Where do you get this knowledge, huh? You're right. But sorry, Glenn. I can't tell you more than I already have. I'm under an oath, and it's also best for your health. That's about the kind of answer I was expecting. I can promise you, though, that you'll definitely get your answers. Until then, we should just stay alive. I can probably ask all I want, and you'll keep quiet. So fine. I won't ask any more questions. <clears throat> Thanks, Glenn. But for now, let's unpack our stuff and move on to Basil. New side quests available. Oh, what have we unlocked, everyone? You are now a licensed clan, which allows you to travel through Volandis armed. With your airship, you can travel across the world map to find new locations or revisit previous areas. You can call your airship from any outdoor environment, if the story allows it, by pressing back. Around the world, there are people who would love to join your clan. Find them and invite them to Hermit's Isle. Some of them have certain abilities that can contribute to the party. Sometimes you will get a notification that new side quests are available, like probably like the one we just got. You can view the starting point of each quest by checking the world map. You can do this while flying with your airship or while in the teleport menu. We just unlocked something big, didn't we? Is there an upgrade station? Let's run around and talk to people. And if we find an upgrade station, then I'm going to probably, I'll cut it out. I'll pause the video and, and just upgrade all the weapons and gear and the skills and stuff. And I'll come back once it's all done. And I'll just be like, hey, this is what I did. So that you guys don't have to sit here through all of that. Um, we're going to do that this time. And if you guys really actually enjoy me going through all the skills for some reason let me know in the comments and then i can keep it in in the future but I'll, i'm gonna try cutting it out for time's sake for everybody thank you for trusting me glenn victor can't reveal the reason yet but you'll understand one day are you my father <laughs> He probably made some sort of, like, promise. I, I think these little coves are areas where, like, maybe people end up eventually. Come on, where's an upgrade station? There's got to be one around here. How big is this place? How many doors are there? Have you noticed that Rob isn't insulting us as often as before? It started when we agreed to help him rescue Lene from the Aurora. I have actually noticed that. What what is what is this? How do we get there? I want to get there. I want I want the loop that's over there. Okay, what are all these doors? Oh no, there's no map. It's just it's another cat. Hello. Yes.
Oh, wow. We are going to fill this place out, aren't we? This is probably all of what Act 2 is, is going around, doing those quests, and filling filling this place up. Ooh. That's really cool. Um, Yeah, we're probably going to take a minute to kind of just get our bearings with this place here. Okay, so we, we, we've been there. Wait, didn't we just go from a... Where does this one come at? So that one and that one are the same. Where do you go? A whole new area. A whole new world, one might say. No loot or anything. No people. Lots of beds. Hello, Lene. This is all just the beginning, Glenn. From here on out, we will reconquer Valandis. I'm sure of it. I believe you. We're going to do this together. There's so many places. Um, wasn't there like another door? I don't know where I'm actually supposed to go. Like this? Nope. I pressed the back button thinking that would, uh, do I need to do this? I probably need to teleport somewhere. No, um, I'm not seeing an upgrade station, but if I can teleport, I can just upgrade whenever. So I'm gonna get these skills upgraded real quick and we will be right back. Okay, everyone, we are back. As you can tell, we are in a new area. So um, there was no upgrade bench at all in that little cave area. I did all the skills, not much to say there. Um, it was mostly just sort of support stuff. I gave everyone a bunch, like any stat boost that I thought they could use, you know, like attack plus two. So it's kind of boring, no need to cover those. And then as far as their SP goes, I just leveled up uh, a few of their things that could go up, nothing really of note. I think the only one that's really noteworthy is that the drunken agility one that Lene has, that skill, uh, I upgraded that so now it, it procs and it goes for three turns instead of two. Otherwise, none of the other stuff actually seemed really too big of an influence or anything that will be extremely changing to battles anyway so i did all of that and i was like okay let me just come over here back to the main town fair and sport it was like one of the first areas where we could upgrade this is where the tutorial for upgrading stuff was and i went here to use the upgrade thing and i couldn't so i saw this guy uh dimshik that you could talk to him and I thought maybe he would tell me something about it. And when I did, he was like, Hey, uh, do you need a blacksmith in your clan? And we said, yes, essentially. And so now he's decided to join the clan and he'll be at our base. So you didn't really miss anything. I ran over here, talked to him. He said, do you want me to join the clan? We said, yes, and he joined the clan. So now we can upgrade stuff at our base. And it's kind of cool because I didn't expect that to work the way it did, but it did. Um, it also shows us pretty, in a pretty cool way how to how to get people like that's how we're gonna get people i think that's pretty cool oh what's this huh what are you doing here falora i was awaiting your arrival i knew that your group would come to this island you knew how are you a fortune teller or what because i'm a fortune wait what how did you know are you a fortune teller yourself how is this possible you are asking a lot of questions for being a fortune teller. Darn it, I was too slow. This clan is already taken by a rival. Actually, it's not. I'm no fortune teller. You're not? Uh, you're not. I know. Of course I do. So, let me lend you my talents. I can help you find your destiny on this continent. She probably took a long voyage to get here. We can't turn her down, can we? I guess not. As predicted... I'll find myself a nice little place to do my business. Come and visit me anytime. All right. We now have a fortune teller. We can pay our money to receive clues on where to find new recruits. That's kind of cool. I like that. That did remind me of something that I haven't done yet, and that is formation. How do we got Glenn with Lene, Victor, and Rob, and then those two on their own? I almost want to put Rob with uh, Bathra's. Mm. No, I'm not going to do that because at the very least, if I need to switch out Victor with Rob, Rob has a fast agility, so it'll bring Victor back to the, to his turn 
quicker so we can actually use him. All right. Um, we are going to the cave. That cave, I assume? What's all around here, anyways? There's no map. This island should be perfect for your clan. If you want to get off from here, you should call your airship. Good to know, bro. I'm kind of just... I guess... I didn't really expect this to be more of an exploring uh, episode, but it looks like that's what it's going to be. There are mushrooms growing on this island that I haven't seen before. Maybe I can use them for a new concoction. Dude, if you could be useful in some way, that would be awesome. I, I feel like I'm so rude to Rob, but like... I don't know, the... The poisoning is nice and all that, but everyone else does stuff that I feel is almost better. But I could be completely wrong, and maybe that's why I'm struggling sometimes in the fights. This island's great. If you find me the men, I might build a little port for our airship. All right. We're going to be probably spending most of this episode trying to find people to stock up this this base. So that as we do side quests and stuff, it uh, we get we get some more we get more use out of this. Now, I want to find the blacksmith. I probably won't be running back here every single... Oh, okay, there's an exit. But I, I, like I was saying, I probably won't run back here every single time that we get someone. It's just that I really wanted to upgrade our materials. Where, where in the world? There are so... There's so much to this. Where am I now? What? The music completely changed. All right, well... Um, all of this metal and stuff makes me think that the blacksmith would have been around here, but I guess not. Hello. Oh, there you are. Oh, there you are. Oh, cool. I'd prefer to work in a proper smithy, which means we will need some buildings. I bet there are builders all over Valandis looking for some work. What is this game? We're on, we're, it's now a, a, a management builder. I mean, I'm not complaining. I have no money. I can't upgrade anything. Oh no. Quick, quick, do we have any any rewards to turn in? No. Oh no. Well, we're not upgrading a thing. <laughs> For a thousand? Oh, we call it Ark. That's what it is. I always call it gold. I'm probably going to still end up calling it gold. But I can find you new recruits. Well, you know what? I can't even upgrade one sword for 500 arc, let alone pay you a thousand to tell me about where recruits are. So we're going to go exploring. So if I press the back button. Oh. Oh, what is this? Guys, what did we just. This is amazing. New Wernshire. It's an oasis. Am I going to get in trouble just flying all around here or what? Flower fields of Perpetua. We've been there. Yeah, that was the area where we are like, oh, it's like really swampy, right? City of Rain Tormund. Just going everywhere, huh? This is insane. We can just travel everywhere. Flanders. There's the mountains, Vasil, Roland Fields, Dancing City of Farnsport. Um, what is this? I clicked A on it. We have to play louder. Eddie, you're not loud enough. The people on the surface can't hear you. It's not my fault. I only play a bloody flute. Even the wind is whistling louder than you. And I'm supposed to be blowing stronger than the wind. And um, what are you doing up here? Oh, an audience. We're spreading love to the people of Valandis with our music. From up here? Well, on the ground, they were just shooing us away. The soldier said that people weren't interested in music in the current situation. But we say that they need music even more than before. They need something to revive their spirits. That's why we're trying to entertain them from the sky. You're all crazy. No insults. There's nothing but positivity here in our band. Wouldn't you rather make music with us at our clan's base? Our people would appreciate it. In front of a pack of loveless fighters? No thanks. The common people need our love. I wouldn't go so far as to call them loveless. 
I'm coming with you. What? Are you serious, Eddie? I've had enough of you. And enough of this stupid idea. As if the people down there could hear anything from all the way up here. It's just because you're playing the flute too quietly. Use the wind to whistle your darn music. Positivity, they said. So will you accept me into the clan? Of course. Well then, goodbye, loser. <laughs> goodbye, losers. <laughs> Reach a certain clan ring to listen to Eddie's wonderful music. I, I tell you what, very few games can make me smile like this. Okay, we didn't really test out this mechanic though very... So we're here. Let's go up here where it's safe, right? If I click A on this, obviously we're in New Word Wordshire. We'll, we'll explore that later. Let's go back up. I want to test something where there's no... Like this oasis. If I press A on it, nothing. No. Can I can I drop? I press the Oh, excuse me. What is this? I mean, that's really cool. I don't see what the point is, but that's I like it. Whoa. So Okay. So these are all locations that we know of. And these are the places we can teleport to. Which is not as many as we know of. Interesting. Wow. Oh, why are we up here? Rock bottom. What's this? An arrow. Another arrow. More arrows. Lots of arrows and a crying creature Vesta finally someone has arrived to rescue me oh my it's you sir Victor <laughs> how'd you end up here Vesta oh I was a bit unlucky I wanted to map out this island so I came in a small boat however no one told me that a giant sea monster lives here I managed to save myself but the beast destroyed my boat I guess we should give you a ride then you own an airship now I see yes we are registered as a clan now Really? Then let me stay with you. That way, I can map out Valandis easier. Of course, I will share all the information with you. Well, what do you think, Glenn? Having our own cartographer might be quite useful. Let's take him with us. Fantastic. Thank you very much. And now we have Vesta. You can now view all unopened chests. What? This is cool. Oh, there's a total of zero unopened chests in this area. Well, that's really cool for, like, collecting everything. Okay. Moving on. Should we explore a new town or try and find people in an old town? This is our hideout. Yeah, okay. We can't just sit down anywhere. So there needs to be a, a sort of a shine like that. Whether or not it's highlighted as, like, a named area yet is okay. So like this, Fewer Woods. All right. City of Rain Tormund. I don't know if we want to go there, considering um, I'm pretty sure it's the princess's homeland, right? Let's go to, uh, where is it? What's this? Oh, okay. Let's go here. Let's explore this town a little bit. Get something new in. The church is great. Without it, we would still be living in the ruins of Old Wernshire. We, we're going to be spending... A little bit of time exploring, that's for sure. The tomb of Lady Rain, uh, Reina is somewhere here on Valandis. She is the holy mother of our faith, and there is nothing more important than finding her resting place. King Frederick has raised the taxes, but fortunately the church is stepping in to help, so we can concentrate on rebuilding. This one god's very generous. Hmm. It's a dog. Hello. Oh, good dog. Look at that. It tells you on the left there. There are four chests in this area. Some people say that the mud is annoying and that it only hinders our work. I say, however, this mud is a symbol of the people's will. Do you see all the footprints and wheel tracks in the mud? Can you feel the work the people have put into rebuilding this city? The puddles are made of the blood, sweat, and tears of hardworking Wernshires. Wernshires. The guy next to me really wants to introduce the slogan, New Wernshire built on the mud of the people. He's nuts. Yeah, maybe a little bit, but he's got the spunk. 
I hear there's a priest in North Square handing out free dapples. Dapples? I've never eaten one. Dapples? Maybe we'll have to go get a dapple. What's this? But right now we need people. Townfolk A. Lucky me, I got a chunk of meat in my broth. That's a fly. Well, better than nothing. Oh, you guys are starving, aren't you? Ew. First, you boil the water, then you put in a potato. Afterwards, you need to salt it. Then you're done. Hmm, I'm all out of salt. Well, the soup will taste just as good without it. Only the natural flavor of a potato. You are literally just having boiled potato soup. Oh, I'm so sorry. Are you a good cat? Nope, you're a bad cat. This is not a hotel and you're not from here. I'm managing the beds for the townspeople of Wernshire who lost their homes. This place is funded by the church. Yes, but but I want to help them and relieve them of their burdened loot. Yes. Once a week the church holds a service. I love it. Everyone's allowed to <laughs> everyone is allowed a sip of alcohol. I think that's called communion, dear sir. But hey, if you enjoy that, Have you seen the troop of platypus running around town? I bet they're up to no good. But is it Perry the platypus? No? Oh, another dog. Hello, dog. No, don't be a mean dog. I just want to love you. Uh, ma'am? New Wernshire is not the prettiest sight to see, but I must admit we are doing better than before the explosion. With the reconstruction project, we finally have a working sewer system. No more running through the cold to the outhouse at night. I mean, there you go. That's looking at the positive side. Do we pet every animal? I mean, I think we have to. I think it's law. You have to pet every animal. Yo, what are you doing up here? New Wernshire is being rebuilt thanks to the church. I'm sure they want us to convert to their faith, but they'll be in for a surprise. We've lived with the old gods for thousands of years, and it won't change that easily. We'll still take your money, though. Hey, if they're offering the money and they're not saying you have to convert, then I mean by all means. Loot. Elastic wing. I like the music in this place. It's cool. We're going to be checking out all these buildings. Hopefully we can come across someone that actually wants to... Uh... Oh, they have the best equipment, they say. We have loot. We have a bit of loot. Oh, wow. Those bushy eyelashes are loot and they sell at 100 a pop? Ooh. Wait, what's this description? I haven't been reading the descriptions on any of these. Nowadays, the eyelashes are mo are worth more than the enemy's eyebrows. You've heard that young girls in the free cities use these together with makeup. Oh, let's not tell them where we got it. We're not gonna, uh-uh. Minnie tried it. Maybe someone would want this as a toy for their child. Is this blood on the tip? Who cares? We're just gonna, oops. We, we, we need to actually select them first. Uh, loot, select, sell, thank you. We actually have a little bit of money now. Oh, they have deals. Anything worthy? Some clothes, maybe? It's two grand, though. These are expensive rewards. We need to sell more rats, metal frog, metal frogs. Ancient coins, capless mushrooms, wow. We have a lot of things to sell there. What do you have? You have all of the best weaponry, don't you? Okay, so we're gonna want a kit up here at some point. Yeah, we pro I'm probably seeing that there. I don't think I'm going to waste money right now on upgrading any of our gear. I'm gonna try and get as much money and loot over the next couple episodes as possible that we can then buy all of those weapons and like get ourselves all upgraded. I'd like everyone to eventually be at a point where they, I don't know, have all the same like tier five or tier six armor and weapons. I have the idea for a breakthrough invention, but I need a hundred thousand arc. Huh. 
I should tell you the idea before you hand over the money. Oh, right, so that you can steal it. Forget it then. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. Good luck having someone give you a 100,000 arc for no reason. The bishop has offered a reward of 20,000 arc to anyone who contributes clues. If you find the exact location of the tomb, they'll give up the amount to 100,000 arc. But, well, I'm too busy building a new home for my family. Well, now we need to go find that tomb, for sure. What do you sell? Snacks. You sell food. Oh, and materials. Okay. You? We're looking for Lady Reyna's uh, grave. If you have any clues, let me know. I'll pay you a thousand arc. Yeah, so that you can go tell the church and get a hundred thousand arc? Or twenty thousand? The church has been pumping its money into this region. They must really want to get a foothold on Volandis. Eventually, of course, they'll want the money back. But no one's thinking about that right now. Yeah. Unless this work here. Are you part of the church? Okay. If everything goes smoothly, we will soon have the Arnshrike as an investor. The deal has a bad feel to it, though. It is said that the pacifist regent king... I'm not going to try and pronounce that. It's trying to conquer other countries through economic infiltration. I have no clue what that means, but it sounds kind of bad. Yeah, that's... Hmm. I'm a merchant of the free city, so I've seen my share of strange things. But here on Volandis, I've had encounters at top at all. Have you been to Basil? You might think me crazy, but I swear I saw a running carrot there. Yep, me too. Oh, you've seen the carrot. So it wasn't my imagination. There goes the platypus, by the way. <laughs> You know, Basil wasn't the only place I saw the carrot. I've met another one on my way here to Wernshire. Let me show it to you on the map. Soon I'll return to the free cities, and thanks to you, I know now I now know I haven't gone mad. Bro. Side quest, a little vacation. So that's how that works. Why does it feel like we just started the game? Why does this feel like the game is now finally opened up and has started and we're now playing it? Does does anyone else feel that? Oh yeah, it'll be a nice, nice, tight little JRPG pixel game. It'll be fun, strategic game, 20 to 40 hours maybe. Nope. Nope, I don't think so. What is this? The castle. King Frederick is allowing Gravos to have a small army. An army just big enough so that we can take care of our own inner affairs. I mean, that's nice of them to not force their soldiers on you, I guess. But you're not allowed to have enough to rebel, for sure. Lady Bran is the late Lady Parnella's sister. King Frederick allows her to rule over Gravos, but she has to follow every word he says. True, true. That's how you stay alive. We're trying to recruit, though. Where's that carrot thing? I almost want to go do that battle. See how that goes. Was it showing me over here because this is where it is? Yeah. You guys want to fight another uh, shish kebab boss? Because I kind of do. There he is. This is going to be tough. Oh, wait. We have... Can we, can we access our armor? No. I'd love to access our power armor. Yo, bro. They're all here. They're just sitting here chilling. You just chilling? Are you guys nice? I'm sorry if I hurt your friends. Sorry about that. I had a sneeze and I thought that you guys wouldn't want to hear that. All right. There are brooms everywhere. Is this a dog? Oh no, we've been spotted. That's a pig named Hamlet. Wait, bro. I just wanna, hold up, I just wanna talk. This is very interesting. I'm, I'm very curious about all this. Yo, bro, a Becky. Oh no, jump Hamlet. Um, hold up. Hold up a second. Is everything all right, Becky? My bacon absorbed the fall. Quick, to the boss. 
Uh, I'm liking this. This side quest is funny. Oh. Villager. How dare you intruders threaten my piglets. Feel our wrath. Hick. Oh. Is he drunk? Um, okay then. Let's do this. X slash. All right. Oh, we got Petal Storm off that. Awesome. Let's get them boosted. Okay. Critical. I know we have Petal Storm. We'll get to that. No strengths or weaknesses. Okay. Do we do power pierce? Let's try cross slash. Has a higher chance for critical hits because you get three hits. Oh. Oh, okay. If you don't use it when you get the chance to, you lose it. Oh, okay. Oops. Oopsies. Do we inflict blind? This is one of the things that I unlocked, by the way, was blade reflection. I think that it can be something we can upgrade. It might be good later on. Uh, let's just keep that bleed going. Everyone's pretty hurt. I'm gonna heal. And then... We'll just keep doing that one. It's a pretty strong attack. Okay, we're overheating. Awesome. Love that. Because we need magic skills. Okay. Swap. And then... Not that that's going to do much, but we need to lower our overdrive significantly. Oh! Oh, that was a big hit. Okay. Um... Get their agility up, I guess? Switch over to Victor. He needs to awaken Sienna, and then we need to use Ultra Move very, very soon. Okay, never mind. Let's switch back to this, and... I don't think I was ready for this fight. He's hitting really hard. Um, hmm. What does he do? He take. I don't know what Rob does. I don't think it's going to be useful in an ultra move. We should awaken her. And. Give him a meal. He's going to hit us again. Sienna, come on. Man, it doesn't help that he does area attacks on everyone. I can't keep everyone alive and I can't revive everyone. Let's swap out for Rob. Because he has a little bit more health. Just a little bit. Poison. Oh, we're in overheat too. Good. And do that. Do something. Okay. He's gonna hit us all. We're probably gonna die. Yeah. Everyone's down, pretty much. I wish he'll all actually revive people. And there we are in overheat again. 
And everyone's down again. It's not really gonna work. I'm kinda just... He gets to go twice! Victor's so slow, he goes twice. Okay, okay, let's try that again. Oh, we can do it. It's just, man, it, he hits hard. Retry battle. Is there really no way to put on our um, armor piece? How's our formation? Let's have Rob go first. And as far as equipment and stuff goes, I think we're we're set with what we have. Okay. Let's start with critical. Man, that hits so hard. Um, arms break? He hits really hard, so we want to reduce his attack power. Does he have any buffs? No. Inflicting heavy. And then... Make him bleed. Okay. Rob, switch out with Victor. Victor could do earth drums. It's gonna have a big effect. Nice. Now do armor break. Let's hit him while he's really debuffed. Oh, nice, nice. He's probably gonna knock some of us out here. Nearly, nearly, okay, but not yet. Although, at this point, we kind of need to use meals to heal them up. Yeah, we're, we're kind of screwed if we if we go down. He can't... Victor can't revive them, and we survive, so... Bleed's got some more time on it. Um, let's blind him. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Heal everybody. But Thraws might go down here. Nope. Okay, good. Good. But he gets to go again before Victor gets to go, which is not good. Um, but Thraws is going to use a whole meal. Consuming those 70 cheese wheels like in Skyrim. And then... Gotta watch out for our overdrive here. If, if he starts hitting us when we're in an overheat mode, we're, we're done. Dry? Dry would make it so that he's weak to water attacks. Which might be useful with Lene. Probably be good to switch out with Lene. But also healing. Kind of got to keep that going. There we go. So critical buff, agility buff. Metal Storm's active, so let's do that. Good hit. Switch over. Drunken Master, so that they all move a little bit more. Hopefully. Everyone's pretty high up on their health right now, which is good. We have one weapon summoned. Let's do it again. Or... I don't want to use this. Then he goes. And then she goes. I think we can get away with it. We'll see. We'll see if uh, we go into overheat and, it, and we're all hurt by it. Okay, we're in overheat and it's a magic attack. But he's up next. So we can survive this. Maybe. She's going to eat a sweet. Ok, 
Okay. It's so very close to an overdrive again. Let's heal and... Okay, so let's see. Is there anyone that needs TP more than him? It restores 60 for 25, so it's a good trade-off. It's just... Who do I want to give TP to? I guess Sienna? I'm just going to use an item, actually. Is there anything else here I'd rather use? Probably that. Let's just do that. Now it's her turn. Let's get that bleed, make sure it keeps going. Okay. And then uh, we're gonna have to do heal. Okay. What does he have on him right now? Nothing? Just the bleed? Let's do arms break. That's not gonna really do much damage. But who's next that can actually we need to we kinda need to get it off of the utility one. So our, we don't go into overheat. We're dead if we go into overheat. Pretty much that's how you have to look at it. Okay. We're going to do the ultra move with Glenn. I really like it. And the super debuff is really good. Like, it, it debuffs his attack and his defense. And does damage. And then we also reduce our overheat uh, bar. Okay, she needs more TP badly. But we also need health. So... Let's do this to try and negate that health issue so that he can do that one. And then we have no summons yet. This will bring us down even more. Perfect. Another critical. That's good. How's he doing? Still got all those de debuffs. have anything. The throws is really hurt. He's just gonna have to eat a meal though. I think we can do this. It's just gonna be tough. It's going to be really tough. Um, we're okay. You could use this again, reduce our overdrive. He's gotta die eventually. None of these are any. Well, the th you wanna do one of the thrust attacks, because none of the. Uh, he doesn't have any weaknesses. 
Probably would be best to just swap. And then maybe power pierce? Or arms break? Arms break, probably. We have a defense buff, so that plus arms break will be really useful for keeping us alive. He has bleed on him. Do we eat? If we do, then Victor doesn't necessarily need to use his move to heal. I mean, he could. It could also boost us up. This guy has some high resistances. We're almost at another ultra move. Gotta be dead soon. And they're both down, that's not good. Best I can do right now is to heal us up and see if we can't use some angel wings on them. Oh man, if, if we die after all of this work to try and uh, keep ourselves alive, I'm gonna be upset. I don't think we have a good last save either, so I think we might be stuck doing this. Okay. Keep healing us up. Why are you not healing for much? Sucks when a meal heals more than the bard does. It's gonna knock down the throat. They're both down again. Okay, awesome. Because we're in overheat. Um, Use another one of these on Sienna. We're in overheat, but luckily heal is the thing. But then he's gonna go and he's just gonna put us right back into it. But we survived. So now it's a buff. So we're gonna do this to get us out of the overheat. He's going to swap. Just to bring it down a little bit. And then she will feed a meal. What do we do it? We had to go through like a certain amount of turns or something? I mean, we leveled up some skills and we got a lot of stuff out of it. Oink, oink, oink. Oink. They stopped talking. And those vegetables are back to normal, too. Oh, what should I do? It's all too much. Oh, what a tragedy. Our friend here seems to have been playing around with magic. Making animals talk and giving objects a soul is of the highest magic. 
How can it be that a farmer has mastered it? Oh, come in first. Then I'll tell you about my misfortune. Let's have a good drink. Wash down the sorrow. There. My name is Fridolian. I'm actually from Raban and was a head of the Mage Academy. You are Fridolian of Raban? We met at the Mage Convention in Shadoria last year. I didn't recognize you at all. What are you doing here? Well, I had enough of my life in Nabrelia, enough of this eternal warmongering. I wanted to use magic for good, but in Nabrelia it was mainly used for war. That's why I fled and opted for a quiet life in the countryside. You don't seem particularly happy about it. How could I be? I am the worst farmer ever. I wanted to farm without relying on spells, but my hands are full of blisters and my back hurts without end. I am a failure who can't do anything except magic. Another sick? Fredolian, my friend, I think you need a little vacation first. Do you think so? There is a vacation island in the south. People from the free cities are mostly found there. Vacation, hmm. You guys are right. Maybe I should follow your advice. Once I re I've recovered, I can reconsider the matter. I'll leave immediately. Here, take this as a thank you. Hamlet, Becky, come on, we're heading south. Yay, my skin could use a little tan. All right, happy ending, sort of. Give him a little vacation. Oh man, we leveled up some stuff. And we got a, a thing? What was that thing? The soul of something? Um, is that like an accessory? I don't see anything under soul. Is it a weapon? Also, you... Well, we need to upgrade stuff. Uh, armor? Looks like a key, maybe. It's not that. Then maybe it's in here. Legendary material used to upgrade ultimate weapons. Oh, well, we don't have those yet. We will do that stuff later. I don't want to bore you guys with upgrading all my skills. That was a cool little side quest, though. I like that. I like that a lot. So we could go down here. This is the little vacation island. But I kind of want to go somewhere familiar. Let's see if there's anyone else that we can um, recruit. I can't sell you anything. I need this stuff for myself. Yeah. So we got all the chests here. I like that that little thing is there in the bottom left. It lets you know that, which is nice. Is this the Adventurer's Guild? Oh, it's empty. Why is it empty? Yo. That's kind of weird. I guess everyone's, like, been conscripted at this point, or fled, or, you know. You say anything? No. No one's saying anything? Sir, can you spare a coin? I always saw the possibility that we might lose this war against Terran. I always thought that one day they might conquer the city, but I never thought they would ever stop the dancing city from dancing. The will of its people is shattered. Well, that makes me sad. Is that fish dude still here? Oh! Do you mean to desert, soldier? Have you forgotten what these Escanians did to your family in Eden? They didn't show them any mercy either. No, fish bro. We have to go we have to go. We have to go to the to the underground area. Where is that underground area? There was a little area 
that we found where they were keeping him uh, watered, I think. It's in here, right? What's your business? Nothing? Then please leave. Oh. I'm sorry. That's horrible. That makes me sad. No loitering. <laughs> Move on. Or do you want to join the lovely people adorning the walls? Oh. I, I don't want to join the walls. Oh, oh, they're up there. Yikes. My hatred for Escania runs deep. But upon seeing all the corpses, I've lost any desire for revenge. What are we humans even doing? Yeah, that's that's exactly what the king said. He wanted to break their will. Yo, you're a cool looking dude. You look different than the rest, but I can't talk to you. Okay. Please, Princess Amalia, save us. That's someone we need to find, right? Not only does the woman in the shack tend to her sick but, and wounded, but she also takes care of shells. Fortune teller. We're not taking anyone. Magnolia. I'm actually not in the mood for anything. We've talked to you before. I wonder when we're going to get to know more about this character. We will. Like, it's obvious we will get to know more about them eventually. But when, you know? What else is around here? Anything? There was this boat that was trying to leave, remember? Do you guys remember there was like a boat over here that was trying to get out? The merchants fled the city the moment the enemy's soldiers entered. Now, there are no ships left to flee this rotten place. Wait, what about this boat? Wasn't Weren't they trying to get out? No? No? Okay. Okay, that's fine. Let's see... I don't know if there's much going on here. Let's head on out. Let's go here. Oh no! The whole place was just bombed up. How awful. Is this the result of the battle three months ago? Heinlein. Not quite. When Terran's first foot soldiers arrived over Kotora, Lord Sigurd had already surrendered. This happened yesterday. The smoke is still rising. My dear Heinlein, you are well. May I introduce to you all our contact? I'm so relieved to see you again. I hope a simple servant such as myself can be of service. If this is not the result of the battle, then what happened here? You have surely heard that Nabrelia is mobilizing their armies against Velandis now that their war for succession has ended. King Frederick is doing the same and he is confiscating resources throughout Escania. Food, equipment, materials, and young men. Villages that can't provide supplies are severely punished. And here in Basil, he made the first example. My brother, what is he thinking? He has the Grand Grimoire in his possession. He should be able to defeat the enemy with ease. Why these means? Why this brutality? I'm but a humble servant and in no position to judge. Heinlein, you know why we are here. Indeed. In order to get to Princess Amalia, we need to meet up with another contact. He's waiting in Farnsport. Let's keep going right away. Lead the way. Oh, I guess we're doing story stuff. Frederick, this is going too far, even for you. Oh no, we're not going. Oh, perfect, perfect. I wanted to explore. I don't. I'm glad to know that Farnsport is where we need to go to continue our story. But I want to explore. Not only did they destroy our homes, but they even burnt down the fields. Do you understand? They need the crops, yet they destroyed it all, just to make an example. Yeah, that's. Pretty horrible. Lene, 
you're cool, but your brother kind of sucks. Like a lot. Just an empty home now. Oh. So small. Such a small amount of loot. I almost feel bad taking it at this point. The sound is gone. There's like no music. They did a really good job like designing the sort of tonal change of the city. This is our death sentence. I don't think we can ever recover from this. Hmm. That's horrible. Wait, is this place still standing? It took me 15 years to build this house. They burnt it down within two hours. I'm not really a fan of these people. Of the soldiers and this king. I can't believe this place is still standing. He's still... We sell the best weapons still. Select it all. It's not much, but it's something, I guess. Anything up here? Oh, they did blow this up a little bit. Can we still get back there? Yeah, kind of. I don't know if there's anything really to see over here. They maybe just sort of left the... Uh... Oh, no, we can get in this house. Surprised. Is there any... There's probably nothing in here for us. Yeah. And I doubt we can go out... Yeah, okay. Not going to waste time on that. Let's see. What do we do? Fire and sports where we need to go. Let's uh, go to the seaside village. I guess if we teleport, we can just... Teleport to there so we can get out quicker. We'll go south. See if anyone in the seaside village wants to join us. Wonder how quickly we'll destroy these crabs. Or are they leveling up? Nope. I was wondering if they leveled up uh, along with us. They don't. And gone. There's a chest around here? Wait, what? Oh. Right, that was the um, one of the the fish peoples we met. There's this lighthouse over here. And the ghost is still haunting the place apparently. loot this guy isn't he gone we like knocked him out and now he just begs where is he begging at I don't know guess there's not much over here I'm glad they allow you to still go back to these places I guess we should check the northern passage Oh, 
I forgot about these guys. Oh, we'll, we'll finish them off quick. <laughs> One of them's already gone. There we go. We got a little strong, didn't we? Oh man, there's a lot to explore here. Um... Anywhere else we want to really go right now? I guess we could follow up on that vacation island. I don't really feel like doing another boss battle, though. Ooh. Welcome to Resort Island. Oh, thank you. Pay a lot of taxes to make Terran leave us alone on this island. I bet you do. I've been here for some moons now, and I won't return until Valandis' problems are solved. Or until I run out of money. That's fair. You must have a lot of money, though. What a peaceful place. One can forget its worries. For some reason, it smells like bacon. I wonder why. Hey, you all. I guess it was a good idea to come and relax here. Although it's a bit boring. Yeah. Not sure there's much else going on here, is there? Rusty Anchor. It's a key item. That's interesting. So do we just leave him here now for a bit? I guess so. We'll be back. Flower Fields of Perpetua. I'm not even sure where to begin with this stuff. I feel like I need to explore the cities. And then going to these places, a lot of it is kind of just like... Trying to clean up some of those extra things that we had to do. What's this? Fira wood? I wonder what happens if we go here. Are we going to, like, get in trouble? I mean... We, we, the, the princess lived here. Like, what happens? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say... We probably shouldn't go that way, right? But I bet you some of the citizens might join. Maybe. Let's do a quick look. We have a few more minutes. I'm gonna have to end uh, the Let's Play a little early due to some other obligations I have. But we're gonna see if we can't uh, get anyone else to join us. Or are they all just gonna say the same stuff? Who would join us anyways? I thought the fish dude for sure would have joined us. I, um, now that I'm thinking about it, this might not be the best place to invite people. You know? Just because they all, they're all going to hate what we're standing for, I guess, which is to destroy the Grimoire, which they think is their superpower weapon now. Hmm. Maybe some of the townspeople would want to join us? More of the bandit people, maybe? Who knows? We've been in there. That lady yelled at us for um, going into her home uninvited. Wasn't there a tavern in the middle? That's really cool, the chest thing, though. Because you could go to each different map section. It's not just like the entire city go find this one chest. It's like each map has different areas. Right, you guys talk about the pickled onion liquor. Uh, I don't think there's anything over there. Yeah, um, this place doesn't have much going on in it. I'd have to really scour around. I kind of don't want to spend the entire um, rest of the episode scouring for nothing. Maybe I'll make that like a short episode at some point to give people something like if you want to watch that, but it feels like it's going to end up more in that sort of grind sphere. Like that one episode I did where it's like, yeah, we're just kind of running around looking at stuff rather than any big story beats going on. I don't even know where to find the side quests at. 
The game said it'll tell me when new side quests appear, right? Hmm. Yeah. I think the mic picked that up, but that was a car driving by. They like to do that on my street. It's pretty it's pretty nice of them, you know. Give us a nice sort of rev revving show, I guess. <laughs> Alright, let's Where else would I go? I mean I guess continuing on with the main story in uh Farnsport. Let's head back. What's this? Wait, what's this? Hold up, hold up, hold up. We're, I was gonna be... Step into Archont. What is that? Archont Archipelago. A stunning view. The air feels so relaxing. You should be on your toes. Terran has this area under control. Fly up and you'll be targeted by their automatic cannons immediately. We can use our sky armors in hover mode, but if we need to, the fly mode, we should get rid of the cannons first. According to Haku, there are four around here. What a shame. Well, that's a whole thing. It's so bright here. We discovered a fast travel. Let's talk to this lady. I think this is a good area to end it, actually, especially with sky armor. I want to explore this area, and then we'll probably get on with the main quest stuff, and I think that's best to do next time. I don't really have the time to really get into that here, so I will end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button. It helps me out so much. Subscribe if you want to see more Let's Plays like this and others in the future as we go forward. I also cover Game Pass news and updates and things like that as well. And until then, I'll leave you guys with this. May your days be filled with games and your life be filled with fun. Until next time, everyone, have a good one.